Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by MyPillow. Get two premium MyPillows and two travel pillows for one low price. Visit MyPillow.com, choose the four-pack special, and use the promo code WEIRD for free shipping. I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. School teachers in Los Angeles went on strike yesterday. That'll give kids time to learn the three R's – reading, writing, and renegotiating. Earlier this month, China made news by landing a spacecraft on the dark side of the moon. But now there's a lot of buzz online that it was all faked. But we'll probably never know. You can't take a decent picture in the dark. It used to be that most heart attacks occurred early in the morning. Now it's afternoons. Well, yeah, I mean, who has time in the mornings to cram even one more thing in like that? The government shutdown is the longest in U.S. history, and among the hardest hit are the federal employees who just passed a payday without a paycheck. Many businesses and individuals are helping these workers where they can, from restaurants offering them free meals to Canadian air traffic controllers and sending pizza to their U.S. counterparts. Now, you might wonder how you can help. Well, thanks to a new website, payitfurloughed.com, you can at least send a furloughed worker a beer or two. As the site explains, beer makes everything better, so we're buying local craft brews for federal employees impacted by the government shutdown. So not only are you paying tax dollars while nothing is getting done, now you have the opportunity to enable government alcoholics. The Detroit Auto Show is underway in the Motor City, if I recall correctly. Oh, oh, sorry, um, they asked me not to use the word recall. So have you heard about January? It's a push during this month of January for women to not shave their armpits and just let it grow. So you can also consider it Janu lonely. A clip of Marilyn Monroe's hair is going on the auction block, and it's expected to pull in over $16,000. It's assumed an older gentleman will win the bid, extract the DNA, and later be heard to say, Welcome to Norma Jean Park. Coming to America 2 with Eddie Murphy is now in the works. I hear our Arsenio Hall is excited to finally get a job again. GoBankingRates.com did a study among consumers and found that the average person spends over $5,300 every year on items that can only be categorized as non-essential. You know, each one of us could probably save at least that much every year if we didn't bring back the non-essential workers after the government shutdown's over. I mean, they're non-essential, so why are we even paying to employ them? In China, a woman with a rare condition can't hear men with deep voices. All this time, while watching Star Wars movies, she never knew Darth Vader was saying anything. More than 3,000 people have signed an online petition asking President Donald Trump to merge North Dakota and South Dakota into a single state called Megakota. He says he will consider it, but only if he could put a wall around it. At the Critics' Choice Awards Sunday night, Lady Gaga and Glenn Close tied for the Best Actress Award, which was really disappointing. I mean, a tie? Couldn't we get a sudden death match or something to determine the winner? Meat suit versus boiled rabbit? Who wins? The official premiere date of the eighth and final season of Game of Thrones is going to be April 15th. And if you're a big fan of violence and nudity, you should be excited. Chris Pratt and Katherine Schwarzenegger are now engaged. We're finally getting a Schwarzenegger-Pratt team-up! Just not the one I wanted. Still, congratulations, Chris. We wish you all the best. In San Jose, California, thousands of people are homeless, so people are upset that, meanwhile, a $1,500 per month apartment is being rented to just two house cats. Now, I know it sounds like a, a cozy deal, but the cats do have to pay for their own utilities. Keanu Reeves' new movie bombed at the box office over the weekend. It was the worst opening of any movie in his career. And if you didn't know that he had a new movie out, well, now you know why it bombed. According to The Hollywood Reporter, director Christopher McQuarrie is close to finalizing a deal with Paramount that'll place him at the helm of the next two Mission Impossible films. The plan calls for the seventh Mission Impossible film to arrive in 2021, with the eighth to follow in 2022 filming them both at the same time. The impossible mission this time is trying to explain how Tom Cruise is still doing his own stunts at the age of 60. Seriously, he'll be 60 when that second movie comes out. 
Wow. A customer in Ireland kicked a taxi driver out of his car and said, it's my turn to drive. The customer is going to jail for nine months for assault and refusing to pay a fare. You know, I think you could also add carjacking to that list. Researchers at Queensland University found that open floor plan offices make workers more likely to catch a cold and suffer from stress and high blood pressure. They studied a number of offices and said that the modern layout of lots of cubicles means germs and therefore illnesses like flu are passed around quickly. You'd actually be better off crawling into a salad bar to do your work, because at least then you have the protection of a sneeze shield. For DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!